So you're not a local? Four and five miles down the road. Just don't give a crap about trees. Name's Justin Prentice. Student at a private school operation a couple miles from here. They realized he was missing around six this morning, activated the electronic monitoring device on his ankle, found him and called us at eight. Do they have an estimated time of death yet? Coroner puts time of death somewhere between 10 and one last night. I wanted to take him down the mountain as soon as forensics were done, but as per your request, we didn't touch him. Ah, oh, we won't be here long. You can have him as soon as we're done. What's with the ankle bracelet? Good question. Mr. McLean. This is the principal of the school, Asher McLean. These people are from the CBI. They want to know why your student has an electronic monitoring device on him. Justin had some truancy issues recently, hence the device. What kind of school is this exactly? Bright Arch is a wilderness program for troubled youth. Like a summer camp? No, we're a credited high school. Students stay at Bright Arch for a year on average. We provide structure and discipline through close interaction with nature, plus a regular high school curriculum, of course. Hmm. Uh, she doesn't like you, and you don't like her. Why is that? No comment. Chief Brody? Why don't you like him? What has that got to do with anything? Well, I'm just curious. I think you might show a little more respect. Respect for, There's uh... There's a dead child here. Yes. Yes, he's dead. He doesn't care how I talk to you. I've never worked with the CBI before. Do all your units come with a clown? We get the job done. Well, how about getting it done now? So we can take this kid out of here. How would that be? Yeah, we'll do that. Yep, you can take him. I got the basic facts. Oh, is that right? That quick, huh? Uh, yeah. You want to enlighten us? Oh, forensics probably told you a lot of it already, I would guess. Uh, his knuckles and his knees suggest that he was overpowered in a hand-to-hand -hand struggle. The blow to the head was a coup de grace. But the ground around him is relatively undisturbed, which means that the struggle would have taken place elsewhere. Uphill, presumably. Injured animals tend to move downhill, of course. Do you have any actual facts? Well, it's an actual fact that you dislike Mr. McLean here because he's a tree-hugging liberal wacko. He's probably running some kind of a cult, and he dislikes you because you're a small-minded provincial hayseed. Not that you are, necessarily. It's just what he thinks. Facts pertaining to this poor boy. There was no moon last night, so it was very dark. Justin wouldn't have been able to move very far, injured as he was. He had a lot of dirt in his hair, a lot of dirt in his ears, and deep up under his nails. So somewhere close by, somewhere very close by, there's a spot where someone... Uh, where someone buried him alive. <laughs>